Does this mean that we'll get to have a Mega Man movie soon? Alita Battle Angel is a movie written and produced by James Cameron while being directed by Robert Rodriguez, the guy behind movies such as uh, Sin City and uh, Shark Boy and Love Girl. Anyway, but besides that, this movie looks so good. The effects are amazing. Everything is done well. All the shots of the action keeps you with the moment and with what is going on. <sighs> this is probably the best anime manga adaptation that I have ever seen in my entire life. Of course, there are a couple of gripes that I have with the movie, but, you know, that's like every movie. Um, probably one of the biggest ones being, we don't know that much about the world? Basically, what I mean by that is, um, it's not explained how the Sky Cities became to be or what the main villain really wants. Um, that being said, that's not really central to the plot, and when I say main villain, I mean the guy that shows up at the end that is actually control apparently controlling the villain of this film. You know, because that's a trope that refuses to die. All the actors in this movie do a really good job. They are fun, entertaining, they portray the characters that they are portraying. I just don't think that um, some of them were necessary, kind of to echo Jeremy John's Mahershala Ali could have been played by anyone really who's good at playing villains. He wasn't needed for the role. As fun as he is in the role, he does a really good job playing the character. He just wasn't 100% necessary. Uh, other than that, the, the cast pretty much seems to be very well in what they are, what they're doing with the film. Biggest thing that I would change if I were to change anything about this film would probably be... Um, that information is not given as to why the city doesn't let people go up. Or why it kicks people out for no reason. Like, um, there's a line in there about why one of the characters is kicked out of the city, but it's not really explained why he is kicked out outside of arbitrary things city didn't like. If anything, I would actually kind of like to see a sequel to this. Um, moreover, as like a continuation on Alita's story and where it goes from the end of this film. That being said, I don't need a sequel to this. This ends pretty damn well on a positive enough note that I would be totally cool if this is all the story ever told. I've never seen the original. I don't know how well of an adaptation this is from that. I've never read the original graphic novel manga, depending on what you would prefer. And I've never seen the original OVA show. But this movie on its own is really freaking good. And if you are a fan of anime or just action movies in general, especially if you like James Cameron stuff, I highly recommend that you go and see this movie. All right. With that, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend about this video if you are so inclined. Anyway, that's going to be all from me. Peace, you guys.